Another day of searching and still no answers after a man was swept away in the Farmington River. Yeah, it's raising some questions tonight about safety out on the water. News ace Bob Wilson live in Hartford with what you need to know to prevent a tragedy like that from rocking your family. Bob? Yeah, and one of the things you need to know is you think, oh, it's a nice day out. I'll go out to the river. But the river in Farmington still running at 10 times its normal speed. That's because all that water is stored up in the reservoirs. The dams are releasing it and they needed to go down four feet for police and firefighters to get in there and do a proper search. They say it's too fast for anybody to be in there and yet people still out on the river. Everybody crying. What can I do? I don't know. An emotional day two of the search for Nasir Alam. It comes to an end and his father did find some answers. He talked to the six friends who were with Nasir when he went under the water. A uh, boy tell me they around 4.30, so wind coming like this, like, you know, like monsoon, and so tube going upside down, if some here, some here, and your son almost on the side, but the water push him down. It, it's difficult. We, we spoke to the family several times today, uh, and, you know, we're just trying to be as positive as we can. There is a second person who went into the river around 2.30 early Saturday morning and never came up. Both could not swim. Firefighters say the search continues, but the river is flowing too fast. So fast, in fact, the Farmington River tubing is closed. It's a company which provides safety on the river. Wouldn't hurt to do something like that where the professionals can guide you through. And they have lifeguards on the river, right? They do in certain spots. When you come here to the Farmington River tubing, you can see everybody gets a life jacket. And their tubes are very thick, rugged. They can hold a lot of weight. And that's the most important thing is safety. Because when you get out on the river, you want a solid tube, a life jacket, because even in the calm days, you can still end up upside down in the water. Not to have a life jacket. Crazy. But yeah, we hand out preservatives to people last Sunday, a bunch of them. They all brought them back, actually. What, what happened? Oh, well, they were swimming, or they were tubing, no preservatives after the accident, so we gave them some. Gary Waltman canoes the Farmington River five days a week, and even after the first accident, he says there were kids out on the river no life jackets. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. It's high water and warm temperatures. Usually it's high water and cold temperatures. And he has a very legitimate point. He says normally all that high water comes in the springtime when the snow melts and it's too cold to go tubing. But now because of all that warm water that's been stored up in the dams and all the rain, he says it is tempting because the temperature is warm. He has another tip for you. Never tube or raft or go into the water alone. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.